I'll never get to put a ring on her finger. I'll never get to marry her. All I'm left with is this note right here. Something I found about three days after all this happened. And it's dressed to Chad on our wedding day. And it starts by saying, if you are reading this, today we get to experience the best day of our lives. We made it, and I couldn't ask for a greater man to call my husband. I don't get to live that. The hurt and pain that you've caused this family is unbearable. I know that as a Christian I am supposed to forgive you. Someday I may be able to, but I can't right now. You stole one of my daughters from me. As a father, there is nothing I can do to protect her. I have to watch every day as my wife and other daughters are in pain. And again, there is nothing, little or nothing that I can do to take that pain away. You've given my family a life sentence without Tara. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, Tara wants you and your family and friends to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. I don't know if you do or not, but Tara and all who knew her want you to have the same assurance that she had. When she realized what was happening, she knew where she was going, and she knew she was going to be with Jesus. I will forgive you someday. I'm working on it. I'm on a journey, and it is what God and Tara want me to do. That is who she was. I ask God for forgiveness every night. I'm sorry.